<clears throat> Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? How are you today? Fine, teacher. Thank you. Are you already at home? Yes, teacher. Great. When when you recollect the notes, teacher? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Yeah. Today is a. Hay que ponerse al día, ¿eh? <laughs> yes, yes. Today it's time to finish everything and be ready for. Good night, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you, Carlita? Fine, and you? Fine, fine. When we finish, teacher? We finish next Wednesday. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Next Wednesday. That's that's the last day, Wednesday. Okay. We have, let me see, as we as we didn't have class one day, right? But last Monday. <clears throat> we moved because we were supposed to finish next Tuesday, but because of that, we are going to finish on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just one more day. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 25, teacher. No, 26. Okay. Yeah, we will finish on the 26th because we were uh, we were going to finish on the 25th, but because of Monday that we didn't have class, we ran one more day. So we will finish on Wednesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next Wednesday. Okay, watch you. Let me see. Let's go for the attendance. What's the traffic like? Are you already at home? Yes. Already at home or, or still on the way? Hmm? At home, teacher. Excellent. Adriana Maria. Adriana, Adriana Sofia. Adriana Sofia. Ana. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie Jonathan. Eddie no here. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Mm. Present teacher, my daughter. <laughs> okay. I said that's not, that's not Elmer. I said. <laughs> Elsa Cristina. Present teacher. Felix Enrique. Present teacher. Grace. Present teacher. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. Jose Alberto. <clears throat> Jose Alberto, no here. Jose Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Ready. 
eh, Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor. Present. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia Guadalupe. Mauricio. Good evening. Hello. How was your weekend? Was kind of busy, but fun. <clears throat> nice. A ver, anybody arrived after I call you? Me, Adriana Sofia. Adriana Sofia. Thank you, sir. Claudia, in the chat. Espérenme, lo voy a llamar porque si no, no, no entender nada. Adriana María, no here. Adriana Sofía, you told me you're present. Ana Alicia. Eddie. Ivo Marcela, no. Jennifer. José Alberto. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Rebeca. And Claudia. Por cierto, todavía estoy de camino para mi hacia mi casa, así que estaré de bien en la primera hora. Ok. Vaya, vamos a ver. David, Elmer, Elsa, Cristina, and Felix. Remember, you're missing a presentation, right? Yes, teacher. The one that said, choose a well-known product or service in your national market. Answer the guiding questions. Create the basic profile of the brand for the product. Repeat the process with the basic question. Okay. When was? That is group number two. And then we will listen to Adriana Sofía, Claudia Guadalupe, José Alberto y Víctor. Uy, solo Adriana Sofía está de ese grupo. ¿Verdad? Ah, no, ahí está Víctor. Ahí. Démosle voz. Hello, give me three minutes, please. Okay. While the other group presents, Víctor. David Elmer, Elsa Cristina, and Felix. Go ahead. Who will cheer? Oh. Who will cheer? Mm, I don't remember who is the presentation. You? <clears throat> Me. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Is uh, this say uh, the working? Homework. Exactly. Okay. Um, Elsa, would you like the presentation? Nelson. Who's Nelson? Elsa? I Elsa. Uh -huh. Elsa Cristina, hello. Hello, hello. Would you like the presentation also? Uh, I didn't do uh, you. Uh, you want to? I you need were, this one. You were working together, Elsa Cristina. Yeah, uh, but. Ah, uh, you were not there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do that. Just I. Uh, just I tell them, I told them some ideas, but I didn't do. Okay, David, sure, okay. go ahead. Okay, uh, in this case, teacher, uh, the, the question, the product branding, 
and what does that your business or product do? And uh, we are the selection the shampoo head and shoulder. And what problem do you solve it for your customers? Uh, I I think well we think uh, hydrates and uh, restores damaged hair and prevents dandruff. Uh, who are your three main competitors, direct or indirect? It's Palmolive, Pantene, and Sedal. Uh, what is what is the primary message you want to convey to your customers? Uh, care your all types of hair. And the last, what are five adjectives? or words that best describe your company is unique, multiforms, the best, unisex, the high, the high heads, fragrance, and depth cleaning. The, brand, the product branding is, that's it. In the next is the personal branding. Is the question, what service do you have to offer to people? Uh, it is offered in supermarket. Uh, what do you that makes a uh, you stand on every else innovation give offers? And who are your biggest competitor competi competitors? Competitors. Competitors. And what are they do doing to run themselves? Is confidence and uh, credibility. Okay. Uh, excuse me. The number three is herbal essence advertising on TV. And what do you want your personal brand to convey? Com confidence and credibility. In the last, what adjectives do you want people to associate with you? Is the cheap available in the in all the supermarket, and why? Because we want to be available to all customers. That's it, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you, David. Okay. Now let's see the other group. In the other group, we have Adriana Sofia, eh, Claudia Guadalupe, Jose Alberto y Victor. Okay. We are ready. Nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> Please tell me if you are watching my screen. Yes. Okay. This is the profile branding. I am gonna start with this. The name of the product is Bygone. And the feature of this product is a sprite of 150 150 ml and super effective the price is 5.99 color is color of the product is green red and white the the question of about the five Object is about the company is, is worldwide, is a company careful, responsible, with human sensibility, and a company com very competitive. Okay, this is the profile of branding. Now I'm gonna talk about the uh, Brandy. Okay, the question one. What does your, your business or product do? In this case, our product. What 
what do this? This product kill insects and continue killing. What problem do you solve for your customer? Eliminate insect pests. And the number three, who are your three main competitors? The competitor of Pericon are Sapolio, right? Oco, and some, some is not a seven percent, uh, 100%, but is a competitor of town. What is the prim primary message do you want to convey to convey that you to your customer? This is keep your house free of insects. All many many people, uh, for not say all people, has uh, been fair to uh, many insects. For example, I don't know how to say, it, but in Spanish is cucarachas. The cockroach. Many people. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Cockroach. Cockroach. Okay, many people is afraid cockroach. So uh, this is uh, the primary message to combine the customer is keep your free, keep your house free of insects. What are five adjectives or words that best describe your company? Again, worldwide, careful, responsibility, human sensibility, and competitive. Why worldwide? Bacon is a product is known in many parts of the world. It's careful, the product and the company is careful about the handling of the product, has instruction how to use, has a, a warning about the dangers of handling this product in inadequate way. Why is a human sensibility or responsible? That was, I just said, is responsible and that is the reason why the company describe warning and instruction in the package of the product. Okay. Why is a human sensibility? The company has human sensibility um, in designing and developing social, social camping has helped community in some country and is a is a company worry that take care of the health of the people. It's a competitive company, is a big company, a big product is this product is very, very I don't know how to say best vendible, muy vendible is able to be sold. Be sold, that, that's right. Okay, that is the product branding. Um, this is the personal branding. The service is family free of pests. What do you, that make you stand out from everyone else? What do we do? Okay, we pay slotting in supermarket. Slotting is a right uh, or a fee to show the in, in first position the product. That is, uh, we pay slotting to show our product in front of the other. And other way is that our product is on top of the shelf. And the number three, who, who are your big competitors? Again, with right, right, um, Oko and Antar. Um, what do you want your personal brand to convey? That is 
care of your health is too easy. What adjectives do you want people associate with you? Again, the same, the same adjectives of the company and the product, worldwide careful, responsible, human sensibility and competitive. That's, that's all. That's all. Excellent. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, thank you very much. Great, great, great. And with that, we finished the presentations, right? Of all the groups that we were missing. Now, hmm, let's share the presentation here. Nice. Okay, today we're talking about strong branding. Yeah, just look at the adjective, the, the objective. Strong branding to talk about effective branding components, right? We're talking about strong branding today. Check this expert we have pending. Is a weak brand a good investment? What do you think? What makes it weak? What makes a brand weak? Number two, what happens when a brand doesn't meet customers' expectations? Question number three, what happens when a brand is in a basic need? How can it be sold if it is not a basic need? Number four, what happens when a brand is too expensive? Mm -hmm. And the last one, how can we improve a brand's positioning in the market? Those are some questions huh? that you are going to discuss. No. You aquí estaba, no hay donde allá. Yeah. ¿Y qué te pasa? Victor. The microphone. Okay, we're going to share, I'm going to share the questions with you there in the chat. And you're going to be discussing them in your groups. Let's see, groups, oh, wow, you're 20 today. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make groups of three. I'm sharing. Okay, ready. I'm sharing the, the questions because in the manual you have to that there are a, there are three more for you to discuss. Okay. So look at them in the chat. I'm going to open the groups, be ready, ready to join and go discuss the questions. Any question? Any questions about what you're going to do? No questions. Respond the question. Discuss the questions with your partners. Go ahead, join, join. Join the groups. Teacher. Me. I can't see the invitation to group. I'm going to move in. Carlita, Carlita, Grace Michelle, if you are here, connect to the group. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, but it's very easy to. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi Anna. How are you? <laughs> we can discuss the questions or the. Good evening, the, everybody. The topic. Good evening. Okay. In which question are you right now? Beginning, Ana. Ay, espérame, espérame, que aquí en el WhatsApp. Es que no tenía el WhatsApp, el teléfono, teacher. Hasta ahorita, pa, espérame. Is a weak brain or a good investment? It's a weak brand, a good investment? No. Nah. What makes it weak? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. What makes it make it makes it weak? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, a, um, a weak brand is is not a good investment. It's a bad investment. Or if if your intention is okay, if, if you have an an, in, um, an idea for make a a, a a weak brand a weak brand uh, something different for making or uh, a, a, a strong brand can be a good investment uh-huh uh -huh. because you buy it cheaper yeah yeah so you can do it uh, anything different or some uh, a new idea in, in you can change the brand and make a, a, a good investment. In this case. I have an opinion. Excuse me, I, I'm sorry. I thought you were finished. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have, I have an idea. Just uh -huh. I think everything is about mercadology and money. Mm -hmm. Because you can have a big brand if you have money to to expose in every place, in every country, in every city, and the all the ways that the company can do it. Uh, Think about it. Some things or some product are not very good product, but they have the mercadology, the, the money to, to present in the market. So they make you think that the product is good and you bought it. I think many yeah. Like, ah, that's a good product. Everybody say that it's good. And you are you think that this is a good product. And maybe it is not. Another example is they make you feel that you need something and you don't get it. It is kind of the same way to me. But no. No, no, no. Yeah, that's right. It, 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 this is the... Uh, that is the question. The ah, my hamster is work slowly today. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I understand your point. Uh, I have to okay. Me, Alberto. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot find the words. I know. And he I understand the name. you, uh, No problem. Yeah. Yeah, so I agree with you it, because mm -hmm. we're talking about the, this one being an investment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you buy, if you if you want it, as you say, if you want it to make to be big, if you want this to become strong, of course you are investing in a weak brand. That means when it is weak, when it is weak, it is cheap. Right, mm -hmm. so you can buy it when it is weak, and 
and with the money that Anna was mentioning, make it become strong because a, a weak brand can be weak not because it is bad, but also because of all the things that Anna was mentioning, right? That they right. Can have the the money, the not money to invest in the product and to make it strong. For example, for example, if you think about the charts, have you seen the charts? Chart no. tank. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The chart tank. Okay, so they are investing in products that right. probably uh, <laughs> they are not famous, right? They mm -hmm. are well known and they can be weak. Mm -hmm. But at the end, they be, they make them become strong. Mm -hmm. And and they uh, make with the with the resource, the different resource, the different tools, uh, they can make a, a, a brand a change and be a, a strong or a good investment mm -hmm. in, in the product. I have another sample. Think, mm -hmm. think about the productos artesanales. Mm -hmm. Uh, many people make very good product with hands, but they don't have the money. If someone who, who, who has the money and the, and the intelligence, I don't know how to say, or the knowledge to make this product a boom or a pop product, and this is a very good product. And it's a weak brand because they don't have how to make it strong. Mm -hmm. But it is a very good product. So maybe invest in weak product. It's a good invest to me, could be. Definitely. That, yeah, that's my point too. I think many products don't have any brand and I need um, something good for customers because it doesn't have um, really clear what the customers want or, or expect of the product. So I, I guess that don't have a clear direction. And as you say, don't sell, but, but I know. <laughs> Let's just say being more successful. Yeah. Hi, Kalita. Hi. <laughs> I am Asri. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... Perdón si no me entiende mucho. No, no. A veces estoy mala con la pronunciación. Okay. La siguiente, number four, what happens when a brand is too expensive? Hello? It could be, it will have less demand than a brand that is cheaper. But it depends yeah. of what that yeah, brand is, is selling. Yeah, but every be exists a um, piece of the market that prefer uh, something expensive because yes. they feel satisfied. Yes, you have luxury brands that, yeah. that um, I forgot the word. Um, that complaints needed of. For me, uh, indeed, uh, sí, your necesidad your... de reconocimiento. Well known. Well known needed. 
So um, you you buy a a Rolex, not because you need it. You buy a Rolex you want because, it. because you because want it. You need the people look what you wear in your in your hand in your hand. Yes. Yes. So it uh it is a well noted needed or auto so, auto relation out como se dice auto realización I don't know teacher can you home <laughs> es una necesidad de auto realización conocen la pirámide de Maslow yes uh -huh. Yes. La he escuchado hablar. Ok, Pero entonces no. en la The expensive brands always eh, complain a, a, a needed. Mm -hmm. Self-realization. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues sí estaba correcto yo. Self-realization. Self-realization. Self ok. okay. Okay. They are the last needed in the Maslow. Self-realization. Yep. Sounds, sounds good. Self-realization. <laughs> um, how can we improve a brand position in the market? And in this case, how do you... Um, the Change the market? No, you need to know the market. You need to do an investigation and know what are bad or what are, uh, I don't know, um, what things that are you doing good. So, of San Salvador. It not go. It not will be the same if you are selling in a, in in a comer, commercial center like galerias, for example. In a Shopping center, Victor. Shopping center isn't isn't the same. That's is uh, and Felix Felix is saying. What happened when a brand is too expensive, change to location to sell? It's good for mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not the same shopping center like, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to, about a clothes store. But it's, uh, it's, it's a good point. It depends on the store that you're visiting. Yeah. It's the same product, but more expensive. Yeah. In, for example, many, many, many brands of cheer are not in all stores. Uh -huh. For example. That gives them like some extra positioning, right? Yeah, yeah. Por ejemplo, unas camisas en no van a estar en qué en Metro Centro, sino que solo las va a encontrar allá en cómo se llama en la Gran Vía, por ejemplo. Algunas tiendas de ropa, por ejemplo, Victoria Secret no lo encuentra en otro lado. Los que compran Victoria Secret. Very expensive. <laughs> How can we improve a brand position in the market? Mario Ernesto, how could can we uh, co branding? Co branding? Yeah, that's a, a good Yeah, it's, it's a good if, strategy. Yeah, if you associate with a company that have uh, or that are uh, good uh, focusing in the market, uh, you will improve your brand too. Yeah, yeah. Felix, uh, any comment about this? How can we improve a brand? I agree with Mario. Okay. 
Uh, I agree to it's a good strategy. Make co-branding or or making relaunch to the market with yeah, a, uh, with uh, a uh, talk, 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 talk. Yes. Are you gonna are, are you gonna explain to the public? You will. You will. Okay. Are you ready, Mario Ernesto? What? For what? Are you ready to explain all that are we going are we talking this here? But no. the public why? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Because right now you are the leader. You to Hi, Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you tell me you're scared of sharing. No, I don't have problem, but uh, Victor have the ability to explain better than me. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 Mario. Yeah, no, you, no, no. you have more experience talking with a person than me. You are better than me. You are better than me. We are gonna. We are gonna. Oh, we are gonna speak that. Or, let, let, or we let do. Okay, ready, ready. Vamos a ver. Number one, first question says, oh, well, let me share. First question says, is a weak brand a good investment? What makes it weak? Anna? Jose Alberto Wells, somebody from the group. Okay, tell me. Is a weak brand a good investment? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could be. Uh, if you are if you are a uh, smart uh, in you have money, you can change a weak product in a strong brand uh, at the group we were talking about it and we said that we can we can put the example about the productos artesanales some of them are, are very good product but they don't some of them are very good product but they don't have enough money to to make it a strong Brand, promotion, but if, because of the lack of promotion too, right? Uh -huh, but if anybody uh, can invest and have the money in the mercadology technique or, or ability, they can make that product a very good and strong brand. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice. Okay, group number two, Jose Adriana, Sofia, Mauricio, and Nubia. What happens when a brand doesn't meet customers' expectations? Uh, 
when a brand doesn't meet customer expectation and lose too much. Espérame, teacher, es que están pasando carros. No se me va a oír bien. Ah, ok, ok. Lose too much uh, customer because if you buy a product and you don't like it, you don't come back to the store or to their business and to buy the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we can. Felix, Jose Alfredo, Mario, and Victor. What happens when a brand is in a basic need? How can it be sold? If I can talk, uh, I think that it, is, it doesn't matter because <clears throat> uh, there are a lot of companies that uh, are not the basic need. For example, the company that sell tools or the, that sell uh, uh, toys. Uh, that, that, is, that is not important that for you, for example, uh, because you don't need uh, toys to play. You only need, maybe you need uh, to toilet paper or the basic food uh, or I don't know, but toys, I think that you don't need. Um, I think that uh, this product can be sell with a good strategy in the market. Or uh, for example, a good brand. For example, if your brand is one of the most important companies that could, could be, uh, your, uh, your product will be sell. Could be sell. Okay, so you say if the brand is important, even, uh, but uh, what do you mean by important? So uh, um, a big company, a big company. Okay. As what is the question, teacher? Number three, what happens when a brand is in a basic need? How can it be sold? Yeah. When isn't okay, this is a additional comment. When is not a basic need, the first step to sell something is to create the customer the necessity. And when you create a necessity in the customer, they will be buy the, the product. And Many companies do that, create a necessity uh -huh. to sell. Yes. Yes, a very simple example. But the whatever is a basic need. Yeah, but check. When Victor says create the necessity, okay, about 25 years ago, you didn't have the necessity of buying bottled water. Yeah, you have the necessity of drinking water, but the necessity of buying bottled water has been created with the time. How? Oh, yeah. Telling you that the water that you are receiving in your house is not clean enough for you to drink it. Right, <laughs> uh, teaching you that you cannot boil the water and drink it, and that will be fortified, but you have to buy bottled water. So that is a necessity that has been created through the years. I remember when I was a child, I went to the chorro and I drank water. My mom was never buying water. And it's delicious. Hmm? And it's delicious too. Yeah. But now I cannot drink water from the faucet. If I do it, of course, I will, I will get sick. Maybe can be here. Maybe the water is not that clean, but I don't know. So I have gotten that necessity that was created that I have to buy bottled water to be sure that the water I'm drinking is clean, right? Okay, 
moving to number four. Let's see, Adriana, Carla. Uh, what happens when a brand is too expensive? What do you do? We discussed with Carlita that it depends on the brand and it depends on the product. Uh -huh. Because if the brand sells our expensive product, but it's um, a quality product, maybe the target, uh, the customers that you have really want that product. So as a company, you realize that you have this brand and the, it's too expensive, but um, it's not a bad thing because that people really want that product. So we realize that it depends on the brand. It depends on the product of the quality that you um, sold or sell to the customer. And if you identify that your customer really want it, it doesn't matter if it's expensive or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's thank you. I liked something that Adriana Sofia was mentioning about the self-realization. That she was saying that well, once you have covered all the needs, the basic needs in your life, you go to the last one. You say, okay, I have everything. Now I can buy something expensive for me, right? Teacher. Yes. And um, um, I think too that you can use like a market segmentation. Mm -hmm. And that means that your product we aim to add people with purchasing power. And that means that your product is going to be consumed even if the price is too high. And uh, that's okay. Um, eso pasa, uh, uh -huh. for example, in the supermarket. Uh huh. Yes, there are Teacher. products that are very expensive and people buy them. Tell me, Elmen. Teacher. Yeah. I think that in many cases, those there's products are for a selective market and also sold in a store in a special or specific place. They are products that give special position in the minds of people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they are there, they know not all the people will buy them, right? But somehow somebody will go buy it. I, have you noticed that there are some, as you mentioned, Elmer, the supermarkets, there are some products that are uh, sold. For example, we have super selectors, right? But you go to super selectors, Centro, allá, Parque Libertad, there are some products. But if you want some specific products that are more expensive, you have to go to Super Selecto Escalón. Because you, yeah. won't find, you won't find that product in the, in the other supermarket, right? So the, the, the positioning even of that brand they know where they can put it, where people are going to buy it, even if it is too expensive, right? Yes. Like, like some types of cheese. Have you seen that there are some types of cheese that a piece of this cheese is about $7? Not everybody buys them, right? I wouldn't pay $7 for a piece of cheese like this. In many cases, the price, the product, is give up the name to supermarket. Uh-huh, exactly, exactly. Excellent. Bashan, we go for the last question. How can we improve a brand's positioning in the market? Como aquí ya me colaboraron, Elmer and Jennifer, nos vamos a ir al último grupo que está ahí por allí. Claudia Guadalupe, Cruz, Antonio, David, and Edwin. Yes, how can we improve a brand's positioning in the market? Uh, we conversation teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the how can we improve a brand in position is with advertising, more advertising. Mm -hmm. 
and offers. It's the uh, primary uh, to to action to make it more attractive to people. Excuse me. To make it more attractive to people. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Very advertising. Well, for example, on the um, the Black Friday, for example, is attract attract the, the customer. Okay, and remember that it is very important to make the customers be aware of your product because if they know your product, they will look for it. Right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, nice discussion. Now let's go to the conversation. Check. Uh, let's read the conversation and then I'm going to send you in first for you to go practice. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. So remember who said I'm not going to buy it? Who said it? Hmm? Who said I'm not going to buy it? Who? Hola. I don't know. I don't know. I will never get a pair. Vincent. Vincent. They're expensive. Uh-huh. Vincent said, I will never get a pair of those. And at the end, for curiosity to see if it is true, <laughs> he will buy a pair. Okay. Well, so. I was thinking that you were talking about uh How about person. you? Oh no, we don't know, we don't know the issue. Right, so, but it doesn't say a price either to see how much is expensive. And it depends, remember, it depends on the brand and it depends on what they promise according to the conversation, right? By a check. In this part, it says um, to see what all the foos, foos. What is foos? What is Fus? I think I will buy a pair to see what all the Fus is about. I'm going to read the definition of Fus. Fus is a display of unnecessary or excessive excitement or activity or interest. Mm -hmm. Another one that is as a noun, right? And as a verb, fus means show unnecessary or excessive concern about something. Okay. So what is the fus? In that case, it is a noun. What is the excessive excitement or interest in those shows? Okay. Now, repeat after me. Watch this TV ad. What this TV ad? They are selling shoes that make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. Like a... They are very popular at work. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. 
I could I never, never get, get a pair of, of those. 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 I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. I couldn't I either. either but a brand that delivers, delivers what it promises my customer buy it, buy it regardless of price. price. Maybe they are they really make you faster. Maybe, Maybe they really, they really make, make, you make you faster. The marketing department sure is good. The, the marketing department sure, sure is good. Because they get all these people to buy their shoes. Because, because they get, they all, get these all these people, people, these people buy their shoes. shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the food is about. I think I will I would buy a pair to see what all the food is about. Of the food. Excellent. Well, I was just going to call attendance. Uh, hmm. I'm going to call attendance, Jennifer. I'm going to call attendance and then I'm going to send you the practice. Vamos a ver. Eh, Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Cruz. David Alexander. Present teacher. Eddie. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Elsa Cristina. Present. Felix. Felix, Grace Michelle, Grace, ya la perdimos, Grace. Eh, Ivo Marcela, Ivo Marcela. Jennifer. Present. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Gracias. Nubia. Nubia. Rebecca. Present teacher. Ay, no, ya. A Rebeca le iba a poner el presente. Rebeca no. No, ya tiene como un mes de lo poner. Sí, no me contesta. Ya saben lo que les cae, va. ¿Qué les toca? ¿Se acuerda, Víctor? Dancing. Dala. <risa> Hoy ya no es niño. Hoy ya no es niño, es dancing. ¿Rosy? Present teacher. Dancing quiero también. Ah, ajá. Ah. <laughs> Rosy wants to sing too. Ok, Victor. No, teacher, se van todos de la clase. Oh, my God. Present teacher. Se les cae el inter así automáticamente. Claudia de Guadalupe. Claudia. Claudia. Estaba. Ah, Claudita volvió a arruinar el micrófono. Ya estaba bueno. Eh, Mauricio Emilio. Good night. Good evening, Mauricio. Porque <ríe> night iba a dormir, no me vaya a dormir todavía. Ok. Why not? No, 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 yet, no, yet, no, yet. Okay. I'm I'm here. Here. Okay, I'm going to send you pairs. You will go practice the conversation. Uy, perdimos a quien, pues. Éramos 21. Bunch of... 
Vamos a ver. Yo no ya llegó o sea, Alfredo ya llegó a su casa José Alfredo Alfredo bueno, estaba conmigo, todavía no había llegado de hecho. Ándale. estaba en moto Va. Okay. bueno, let's go Pears eh, practice the conversation and answer the questions, right? Answer the questions on activity three. Vaya, de chico. Not too long time will be short time. Let's go join, chicos. To practice the conversation, right? Yeah, practice the conversation and answer the questions. I'm What's the num question number, teacher? Uh, let me tell you. 27. Page 27. 27. 27. Okay. ¿Cómo estamos de nuevo, David? Ah, nos pusieron igual otra vez, ¿verdad? Eh, si quieres, métete al grupo, Tigre. Hola. Metámonos al grupo, Tigre. Dale uh, group. Sí, dale, join. Join the group. Ah, hola, teacher. Ah, join the group, Eddie. Por ahí vea si le aparece una llamada. Eh, sala de grupo reducido. No. Sí, vale, lo voy a volver a mover. Ah, ok. Claudia. Okay. Now you are Andrea. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a theater. They are very popular at work. You will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I will need it. But a brand that delivers that what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I would be buy a pair to see what all this foos is about. All the foos. What is the meaning of foos? Teacher no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In what is the meaning of foos? A lot of interest. Oh, all the foos is about. Okay. It's interest. Okay. And that delivers what it promises. So, and complete the sentences. Number one, uh -huh. a brand that delivers what it promises makes makes, makes customer buy it regardless of price. They they bought no. Get. They get, mm -hmm. they get, they get these people snake uh -huh. buy the first district is good for the party a brand that delivers what it promises my customers buy 
irregardless of price. I guess it's true. <laughs> oh, Why? Um, I guess that because it, as a customer, you see that the product uh, actually do that premise, you, you can say, well, it's maybe it's a little bit expensive, but it works. The product works. So you always, I don't know if you, it happens to you, but when you buy a product and the product makes the things that it's supposed to do, you say to other people, oh, this product is really good. You can do, maybe you must to buy it or should buy it and try this product because it's good. It's a little bit expensive, but in this case, it floats <laughs> on its work. So I... No se puede. Ahí arriba, creo, ahí arriba creo que es donde... No, allá en negro aparece un, una ruedita negra. A ver dónde se firma, creo yo que sería eso. Si no, no se va. De... De... Marketing. No, 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 no. no. A, abajito está ahí. De qué? They get all these people to buy their, their shoes. shoes. Do you agree with the first statement? A brand that delivers what it promises makes customer buy it. Regardless of praise. I agree. I agree too, but it depends of the product. Because the product is good. I don't care if the price is expensive. Many people would like to buy it. Okay. I think it is about the credibility of the brand. Yeah, me too. I will give you something and it happen it happens. It makes real a real. <laughs> the Bro. Okay. A ver, number one, a brand that delivers what it promises. How would you complete the sentence? Makes, makes. Okay, makes. I... Uh huh, makes customers buy it regardless of price. Number two. They get all these people to buy. Uh -huh. They get all these people to buy their shoes. Okay. Do you agree with the first statement? 
A brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher, definitely. No entiendo la frase, teacher. Ajá, uh, uh -huh. eh, Mauricio. Una marca que entrega lo no, que promete. No, en inglés, Mauricio, come on. Uh, bueno, si no lo entiende, teacher. Uh -huh. But in, in English, if you buy, I don't know, uh, a, a phone uh -huh. that promise that you will have a good camera and when you buy it, you found that the camera is very, very good. Maybe you will buy one more or maybe you say to another people, hey, this product is good. If the other people also will be, will be buy one. What is the, thank you, Mauricio. What, is, what are they, Offering him with these shoes. Make comfort. Clothes. You will work like a feather. Like a feather. Right? These are shoes that one are not heavy. The others, the other thing, they are comfortable, right? So they will make you feel very, very comfortable. That's why he said, mm -hmm. wow, if that's true, will they make me really faster, right? If that is true, if they give me what they are offering to give me, hmm, we're back there. So people will really pay for them because they are giving you what they are offering you to give you. Because sometimes what happens is that a product tells you they are going to do something while they don't, right? But if a product tells you, you will be so comfortable with the shoes, like floating in the air, like if you're in the clouds, because they are very soft. If you have to spend a lot of time standing when working, of course you will say, wow, I will buy them. Is that true? If people tell you, yeah, it's true. They are so comfortable. Of course, I will go buy them. Right? That's why it says a, a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. So it doesn't matter how much they are. But if they really do what they say they will do, I'll get them, right? I don't know if you got it, uh, Anna. Anna. Creo que ni estaba por ahí cerca, no sé yo. Ah, Anna. Aquí estoy, teacher, disculpe. Ay, Anna. No se me esconda. Vaya. Uh, any question, Anna? Was that clear for you? Teacher, thank you. Yes, I am clear. Okay. Yeah, because I want to buy a pair of shoes like those that make you float like feathers. I right? to feel very, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Well, remember we're talking about brands, strong brands. And now we will have a reading about how to make a strong brand. And we have some, we can say reasons, right? Why or how to make a strong brand. One is passion. The other one define your clear brand promise. What do they promise to you? So will they really give you what they promise? But what is the real promise, right? Identify your target market. Number four, create a clear and consistent design. Number five, develop a clear marketing strategy. I'm going to share document with you. 
here, here, here. I'm going to share a document with you. What you're going to do is go to the document, read it, discuss it, and be ready to share it with the class. To share what you're going to share is what you have understood about each of the parts. I'm going to make five groups only because each group will be talking. Okay, we have to, sorry. If I, if I do not stop sharing, I don't, I don't see the groups. But I'm going to make only five groups. Let's see, they are of five or four people each group. So go discuss the topics, right? Discuss the topics, the topic that belongs to you. Number one, Adriana Maria Escalante Salazar. Adriana Maria. The group of Adriana Maria, Felix, Jennifer, and Mario, you will talk about the passion, passion and why, okay? Number two, Adriana, Sofia, Cruz, Antonio, David, and Nubi, you will talk about number two, define your clear brand promise. Number three, Claudia Guadalupe, Jose Alfredo, Carla Lorena, and Rosa Hilda, uh, you will talk about identify your target market. Number four, Elmer, Fabricio, Grace, Jose Alberto, and Victor, you will talk about create a clear and consistent design. And the last one, Ana, Eddie, Elsa, Cristina, and Mauricio, you will talk about the pain. Voy a cambiar un día que regrese. Porque tengo una sospecha de que José Alfredo no está. Y Claudia no tiene micrófono. Entonces el grupo me queda cortito y chiquito. Va. Ya. Um, nombre 3 queda Claudia, Carla, Mauricio y Rosa. And number 5, Ana, Eri, Elsa, Cristina, and José Alfredo. You will go for number five, develop a clear marketing strategy. Any questions, chicos? Questions? Everything to you. I'm going to share the document over there in the chat. There's a word. There's a word document. Okay. Ah, okay, now we're ready to go. There we go. Join, join. Felix, Jennifer, join. Elma, join. Asusta, me asusta. <laughs> Sí, sí, es muy raro ver una cocha que la jale, pero bueno. Ok. So, we are going to talk about fashion. Fashion and why. 
the passion that we, we feel to study English. <laughs> <laughs> it's really strong. But what exactly are we are going to do? We need to read the document. Oh. You are the number one. You are yes. number one. Two, three. Okay. Four, five. Okay. We need to do a resume. Or a summary. 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 Yeah. Summary. Summary. Um, what is that? Um, excuse me? What, where is that information? It's in the group of WhatsApp. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a document. It's a word. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Is that it, it is too long to paste it, to paste it like a text. Yeah, yeah. I share. I Microsoft. You can see Apple. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. How should we write? A summary. Summary. Read it and then you discuss, right? So you can explain what you understand. What is the meaning of actionable? Actionable. I don't know. Hmm? You can say uh, illustrate in a way that creates actionable steps. A ancient or something like that. What is the meaning of it? Ahí le voy a pegar un dictionary. <laughs> Para que lo vaya a buscar allá. Bueno, <laughs> <laughs> That's so cheeky, cheeky. The closest. Take um, a oh, link. Down link for a dictionary. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Wow. You're going to read, Mario, or? Oh. Uh -huh, read aloud. If you want, I can, I can read. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe yeah. the first, the first part, and then you can continue. You tell me all. I like your voice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, here are five clear com components. Any strong brand po possesses. Illustrate in a way that creates actionable steps for you to take on behave or your own brand. Number one, passion and why. When you are able to articulate what you're passionate about, 
your customers will be able to ask, well, your why equal why they buy. Not sure how to determine what your why is. That is bad. Not sure how to determine what your why is. Try these methods for Forbes. Brands like Microsoft, Warby Parker, and JetBlue have a great mission and vision. Statements that guide and inspire the work they do. And they all have one thing in common. Their passion and why are clear and impactful. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. Now we can discuss. Hi, in my opinion, all the block, maybe we can have a summary in the last part. Their passion and why are clear and impactful. Sorry, can you repeat? I didn't play it. The last one. Maybe, maybe yeah. we can uh, have a summary of this, of, of all the things that we read and the, that we read. And the last part, their passion and why are clear and impactful. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess that it's a company you have clear. Why are you doing the things that you do? You can share this, um, this vision for your customers. So maybe it's important to have clear that part. I guess that is, <laughs> it could be a, a good way to have a summary. But what do you think? I think that uh, this, this information is very uh, short. Uh, yes. we, we are not able, well, we are able to do a summary of that, but uh, I don't know. We need to, to... It's not that summary. Explain what you understand. Oh, so you oh. read that. So oh. you're going to reduce the information. You will explain oh. what mm -hmm. you, what you understand. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, I said, yeah, yeah. We can we can talk about what you say that the pressure and why are, why are clear and is impactful because mm -hmm. uh uh due to to have a, you need to feel, you feel low, you know about your problem, why are you? Una promesa de mal. Yes, because the, the FedEx, FedEx uh, say the, uh, say the, the promise, is when it is absolutely necessary, it has to arrive overnight. In this, in this case, the Apple yeah, says the Apple one more. Apple. Apple says uh, buy a, life, a lifestyle. For example, imagination. And uh, uh, liberty. Liberty? Liberty, imagination. Okay. Is the promise the, the apple? Is a uh, buy of life, lifestyle? For example, imagination, liberty. And, and this homework teacher is a uh, only discourse about explain. the. Explain what you understand. Okay, I'll explain. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the promise? Yeah. Okay. Explain. 
is the for for me the promise is the essence. The essence. Uh -huh. The essence. Mm -hmm. uh, the essence of the brand. Okay. For the uh, for the customer. For me. And you know yeah? What? Excuse me. For me, the 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 fine, uh, the brand promise for me uh, is the essences of brand yes. for essence. Yes. The essence. The essence mm -hmm. of the brand for customer. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. I I read in teacher, okay. but the letter is very small. Make it bigger. <laughs> make it bigger. The whole word document. You can make it bigger. Yes. Uh, in this moment. I write that more um, big that level. Yeah, because if you are in the cell phone, it will look still a smaller. Ya esta hora ya no me. It's about the uh, define uh, your clean brand promise in, in this promises. article. What it promises. 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 Okay. Okay, good. In English, Mauricio? Teacher, es que estamos tratando de aterrizar. Estamos teniendo la idea, teacher, para que a la hora de, 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 de la exposición no estemos patinando. No, 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 no. no. Sí, 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 sí. sí. Uh, at, this, <laughs> at this level, you don't need to be discussing things in Spanish. Ok, teacher. I got you, I got you. No more, no more. I got you, no problem. Como que le pida pacha al niño que tiene 10 años. Ya no. But the still is delicious. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. It still is delicious. Do it. Sí. So, teacher, we are uh, using... Uh, the better way to expose that because we have uh, mm, the same idea but be, maybe not uh, with the same words. Of course, that would always be fair, but discussing English, what you know. Because if you state it in Spanish at the, at the time of sharing, it will continue being not the same. So when we can be to low. We did a lot uh, of discuss well. Teacher, teacher, you hmm? I'm ask you something in the in this say a persona. Uh, maybe it's a mistake. This part 
in two times. Say, uh, uh, let me let, read you. Aquí, your target, target or your personas. Your personas. And well, it should be anyway taking a, a hard look at whom your target market or personas are. Persons, yeah. Sí, Person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Don't, don't lose the message, Abel. <laughs> Doing the research. So, my I think uh, uh, I, I'm going you... to give you a definition for persona. Uh, in English, it's okay. Persona is the particular type of of character that a person seems to have and that is often different from the real or private character. Teacher Victor Algueta dice que está solo. Persona is 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 right here. Yes. No, no it's a no it's a wrong. A Victor está solo porque se salió de su grupo y allá está en el general. Ah, bueno, pues de los solo castigo. A la esquina, a la esquina. Con las orejitas de burro. Te voy solito para allá afuera. No. Podemos. Tienes que bailar. Yeah. I wanna yes. see that. I yes. wanna see that. That's why it's there. Vaya, check. So, persona is the particular type of character that a person seems to have and that is often different from the real or private character. That's the definition. The personality. No, persona. Persona is a word in English too. A public persona. A persona is also the voice in which an author writes a story or poem. Mm -hmm. Pongamos person, a ver qué pasa. Person, a woman, a child. Ah, pues sí, entonces it's okay. Uh -huh. okay. A persona. So when you say eh, market or personas, it's okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Like the character. We we are a little confused with that. Uh -huh, no, but 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 it exists. So it is. We are thinking that it's a mistake. Uh -huh, but no, 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 no. It's okay. Not in this case. Not in this case. It's, it's not what it oh was no it was not a finger mistake. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, I think uh, identify your target market is about to be an investigate as to how the target market people and objective. That investigation will identify all the necessities of people. For example, um, I like when you should take shock, stock of to ensure you're in alignment with how they shop, eat, break, and maybe even sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't know this idea. What do you understand? Hmm. 
when you share it with the others, you will share it with your own words. Or. Siete, seis, seis, dos. Victor, why were you in the street? <laughs> what were you doing outside? Uh, <laughs> my computer was discharged with no battery. Oh. So. And Rosie told, told me, Victor says that he's outside. <laughs> Why is he outside? Me ha dejado fuera. Imagine. <laughs> but you went out alone. <laughs> yeah. You went alone. We are discussing, teacher, about how to develop a clear design. Okay. Um, how to to share it with the others. Okay. Remember, you will explain that in your own words. In mm -hmm. own words. Mm -hmm. In your yeah. own words. In, okay. With own words. With own words. What do you understand? That's the basic, what we understand. Exactly. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I think in a wording work, the organization seek to spread the images through an action to explore the element of the business um consistency in this is fundamental what builds solidity is precision to go the handling of elements to charge turn uh the voice in the brand graphic element that to make up the visual identify mm -hmm. And use of the slogans, como this. In the brand, in the logo de, de la marca. Uh -huh, the brand. Yeah. Uh -huh. Back to this future. Victor. Hello. Lo voy a mandar al chat ahorita. Okay. Okay, okay. Ahí está. When talking about brands, it is sales of some such as Starbucks, Amazon, Apple. We think of the logos, but not only in that, but in the entire brand. Everything it represents because they have been maintained over time. The way to make a strong brand is it's good handling over time, making 
consistent makes it strong and recognized. 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 Over time. Not only as a logo, but all the symbols, colors, fonts, etc. I have not received it all. I have no, I haven't received in the, the chat of the group. The share. Uh, I in our yeah. chat, in this group. Okay. I I think to to have a good brand, you have to have implemented a good market study. That way we work to know mm -hmm. what characteristics characteristics the brand should should have. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think to to market a strategy is a good option. Definitely. If if you have all the your marketing study, you will know what people really want to buy. Yes. And you will position your brand so high that it will be very strong. Mm -hmm. But if you don't pay attention to what people want. Yeah. There's the, the marketing strategy that no, no good to to create to create a necessity in the customers and the consumers sorry the consumers yeah that's true but teacher what do you think mm -hmm. what make what make a brand strong the the owner of the brand the, idea of the owner of the brand or the idea of, of a good a marketing agency? I would say the agency. Yes, the agency. In other words, in other words, the marketing agency must work hand in hand, maybe that's the way to say it, de la mano, uh -huh. uh, hand in hand with the owner. Yeah, but going back again to what we were commenting a couple minutes ago of the, of the chart tanks. These people have a product and they think the product is good, but the product sometimes have a lot of uh, Failures, and they need the expert to look at the product, to pay attention to details that probably the person who did it didn't pay attention to. Remember when you do something, you fall in love with what you're doing, and for you, everything you do is perfect, right? Right. When the, when the one that is going to support you with the money it looks at your product and it starts uh, making observations. Sometimes people go to the defensive, right? Like, no, but it's better, it's good, it's, and you can do many things. But then they take that product to study. Uh, I was checking the program one of these days and they were making focus groups, focus groups to try uh, to check the product, to use the product, and to even decide what price they will give to that product. And of course, the owner was thinking about the double of the price that the people will pay for it, right? But once you go to that process, you can keep your brand stronger because you're taking many other things in consideration that the one who knows is the expert, right? That's why yeah. I will go for the for the expert there. Sure. Yeah. For example, if we compare the brands like Apple and Alcatel, 
their products uh, fulfill the same fun fun function, mm -hmm. but the quality of the product is different. So you will say that Apple is stronger. Well, Alcatel is strong. And high quality. The one I have is blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's marca Pajarito. Right? <laughs> Brand beer. <laughs> it's not very good, but at least what I need is to communicate, to have. Yes. Like, I have a. I have about 30 groups in my phone and, and, and it has it has been able to to deal with all the 20 groups. No, about 20, 30 groups that I carry on my phone. So with that, for me, that's enough. I don't need anything else. The camera is not the best, right? Mm -hmm. But I have what I need are 30 groups to communicate with my students and with the other teachers. So for me, that's okay. But of course, if somebody else is looking for something more sophisticated, we say, no, teacher, blue, no. It's not <laughs> right? But, 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 your, but your cell phone fulfills the same functions. Mm, exactly, and, but of course, if you yeah. ask me if I would recommend it, I would tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. Like, no comment. Because in a moment, I didn't receive what they were offering that the phone would do. Right? So that, that's the situation. Bueno, vámonos. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Basha. It's a it's about time. So I'm going to call attendance. And tomorrow we will listen to you. I'm going to capture. I'm going to capture the groups so I don't forget who you are because you will share tomorrow. Like that, I forget tomorrow who belongs to which group. Okay. Well. Be ready to tell me present. Number one, Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Perdimos a Sophie. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Elsa Cristina. Present teacher. Felix. Felix. Present teacher, present. Uh, Grace Chill. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer. Present. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Ana Lorena. Carlita. Present teacher. Mario. 
<risa> Tenía apagado el micrófono. Singing, singing. Mario. Es, still here. Okay. No bien. Mm-hmm. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Ah. Hola, Rebecca. Pérez. ¿Quién es Rebecca hoy? Víctor. Y no cantó, y no cantó. No he llegado todavía, Víctor. Casi, casi, Víctor. Ya eh, dijo presente para esa, mire. Sí. Rebecca, no here. Ya tengo le toca sueño. bailar entonces, le toca bailar, no cantar. Cierto. Rebeca le toca quedarse ahora. ¿Verdad? Eh, Rosy. Present teacher. Picture. Present. Claro. <ríe> hoy sí. Mm. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Claudia Guadalupe. Mauricio. Present teacher. Teacher. Uh, okay, tell teacher, me. I want to see the song. Hmm? Claudia say present the show. Present teacher. Present teacher. Who? Claudia. Ah, Claudia. Yeah, present teacher. Present teacher. Claudia volvió a arruinar el micrófono. Why that? <laughs> Vaya, pues. Está hechizado esta cosa. Sí. Teacher. Hola. When you collect the, the homeworks? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Yes, yes. You need three, right? Only you need Bye. Yes. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Hello. We we'll see good night. Take care. Adriana, Sofía.